Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. So in the previous tutorials, we have learned how to overload some operators. For example, we have learned how to overload the increment operators, the decrement operators, the shorthand operators, you know, some of them. So here in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to overload some special operators. C++ defines array subscripting, you know, this operator and then the function calling and then the class member access operator or this arrow operator so these operators can be overloaded to perform some very useful tasks so one important restriction to overload these three special operators is that you know they must be non-static member functions and also they cannot be friends so we can't use a friend function to overload these three special operators and also the operator functions for these three operators should be non-static member functions all right so in this tutorial we're gonna learn how to overload this array subscripting operator so here in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a class and let's call it as marks and uh, let's say we're gonna have a private member which is gonna be an integer array and let's call it as subjects and let's say we have three elements in other words the subjects array is gonna store the marks of three subjects that's it then we can have the public access specifier and then we're going to define the constructor of this marks so it's going to be the class name which is marks and we're going to define only one constructor and it's going to take three parameters so let's say int marks of the subject one and uh, mark of the subject two and mark of subject three so now we're going to store the value received in these parameters in this array so it's going to be subject and uh, it's going to be zero because you know the first index equal to sub one and i'm going to copy this and paste it two more times and we're going to change this one to one and this should be subject two and then here it's going to be three and uh, it should be two so now we have an array as a class member and we have defined a constructor which is going to take three parameters and it's going to store that values in this array elements the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to overload the array subscripting or this two square brackets operator and we're going to make it to work with the objects of this class marks so here first we need to specify the return type you know what we're going to do here is in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose we're gonna create an object of this marks and let's say anil and then we're gonna initialize that here for example we need to pass three parameters let's say 22 44 33 and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this array subscripting operator to get the value which are stored in this array for example let's say if you want to access the value of 22 then we're gonna use this object which is anil and then we're going to use this pass the value so when we pass 0 it should return the value 22 when we pass 1 it should return 44 when we pass 2 it should return 33 which is nothing but you know we are making this operator to work with this object of this class marks and we're going to make it to return the value stored in this member array subjects so here first we need to specify the return type which is going to be int and before that let me remove all these things all right int and then the keyword operator and then the symbol which is two square brackets opening and closing square brackets and then pair of parentheses and between these parentheses we need to pass the parameters let's say our operator is going to take only one parameter and it is of type integers so let's say int and let me call it as position and we need to define the body so here is going to be return statement and we're going to return the element in this subjects array so it's going to be subjects and then the position so when we pass a position zero you know it's going to return the first element in this subjects array when it is one it's going to return the second element like that 
since this is a special operator available in C++, we can't overload this using a friend function. And uh, you know, this function is a non-static member function. All right, now we're gonna create an object of this class marks and let's say marks and anil and we need to pass three parameters for example 22 33 55 and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this operator function or we're gonna use this overloaded operator to print out the values 22 33 and 55 for that i'm gonna use c out and i'm gonna refer to the object name and then the overloaded operator and I'm gonna pass the position, you know, the one parameter it, it takes, zero. And let's end this line. And similarly, I'm gonna copy this and paste it two more times. And I'm gonna change this one to one and two. All right, I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna build and run this. And now you guys can see, we got 22, 33, and 55. So here, we have overloaded this array subscripting operator to work with these objects. So this is it guys. This is how you guys can overload the special array subscripting operator in C++. And in the next tutorial, we're going to learn how to overload some other special operators available in C++. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.